Okay, so we just watched the movie in you and it had an impact on you. So just describe to me how you're feeling and, and what you're thinking about. How, how did it, why did it impact you? Wow. All, all I have to say is just, just wow. There are tears in my eyes after that. Just, just seeing myself on the big screen in the moment with such a complex, intricate story with these trippy visuals. It's just, it's just a bowl of soup that I just needed right now. Oh my God. Every single scene just has these colors and shapes and, and everything. Just, you don't normally see this ever. It's just such a fantastic movie. So much better than part one. I, I don't even know. I, I love it. Yeah, it was like things really sort of opened up and um, it was it was quite interesting because I managed to have just DIY green screen just as it happened because the, the tablecloths, the, you know, that are buds, cheap tablecloths, is basically the same colour as you use for green screen. So that allowed me to wrap it around the hamster. A guy held the hamster and then I could then key, chroma key that in the, in the edit. So that's how I just got the head, the ha the head of the hamster. You, you, and then we could put all of the visuals in the background. And that, that was a big breakthrough. And oh my God, that hamster, he was a walk-in library with the words he used. So like deep and complex. What a weird movie. Every character just, no one talks except for the hamster. Like what's up with that? Man, what a, what a silent film. You never see these nowadays. And this is a crazy take on one too. The music and, and and the 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 message that it's sending about today too, about the government. It's just wow. What what a movie. I will be rewatching this. I, I I will be recommending this to all my friends. Wow. Yeah, do you think you could just watch part two as a thing? Cause, uh, or it's got it's gotta be one and two together? I, I'm planning on, on, I posted on my story a link to part two, just because the production value and just, just the editing, the acting, even the camera work even in part two is just unparalleled compared to, to, to part one. Part one was almost the prototype of what part two could have been. And in the beginning of part two, there's already an intro. It basically summarizes the entire part one. So all, all you need is part two. All, all you need is part two, I say. What were you feeling when it when you had that first impact of like watching it? Like what was what what really what really got to you is also like the narrative of the hamster, the fact that the hamster was the star of the show, but then has gone missing now. You know he's he got out in in real life, so it was all of that. I, I you know that all came in as well. That sort of aspect that he's gone into the sort of this mystery. You know, coming into this movie. We, we we knew that Priyat, the hamster, the, the main antagonist, we knew in real life he's missing, presumed dead, already eulogized. Um, but during filming, we didn't. So there's a lot, a lot of foreshadowing in this movie. Uh, a line I remember in particular was towards the end. It was it was showing the hamsters scurrying around and, and the boss hamster, whatever the, the main villain hamster was, he, he told all the hamsters, he told them, hamsters, you must all escape now. And I think that was like the last, if not one of the last lines of the movie, which is just very ironic considering uh, the fate of that actor. Wow. Well, he certainly made an impact beyond probably what most just pet hamsters manage to do in their, their short, crazy little lives. Oh, for sure. He's a social media star with an Instagram account of almost a hundred probably uh posts every day he's always on people's stories all the time he's always being held thrown across the room sometimes you know just hamster's life it's just a shame that he had to go missing he he could have had a nice future ahead of him he could have had a nice like 12 more days yeah he could have he could have gotten into 10 10 movies even who knows who knows wow what a legacy he could have had he was definitely a special mascot for the year and um, I don't know who they were going to pass him on to anyway. I think that was a bit of an issue and it's strange that he went missing just probably with like two weeks to go. You know, that is pretty convenient. I'm a little biased. I'm a little biased, but I do know that the owner definitely cares about the hamster as as soon as the hamster went missing after we couldn't find it, we actually, uh, me and her, we went to the 
the hamster st- the hamster store to actually to try to get a new one because she cares so much about hamsters. But long story short, we weren't able to get one. The, the author he just he just left it to be interpreted, I guess. You know, the big guy controlling out there. I guess we'll never know unless he decides to come back. Maybe he's happy now. Maybe he has a family. Maybe he's not stuck in a cage all day. Maybe it's for the best. You know, there's a been maybe a bit of a breakthrough in terms of your acting. You you suddenly were like talking to me about yeah, you know your 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 father's an actor and it looks like it's something you're sizing up. So how do you feel about that? So I've always like liked acting like in everyday situations, like pretending to be angry to my friends or pretending to be super hurt or even crying, but. I would never pursue it ever because I'm just I'm I'm not serious enough. I'm always laughing during the production of this movie. All I would do is just is just laugh. And there's there's multiple scenes where you can see me hiding a smile. Like like uh, here's some behind the scene. Uh, when I was sitting on the couch and Tato was coming to, was gonna get me from behind. I was dying during that filming, and you can even see me hiding a smile. So I'm going to KU. Uh, probably for the next four years so maybe there's some small groups there I could join I don't want to you know go to drama like I don't want to be like a theater kid like that's not a stigma I'm interested in but um I'm down if there's like a chill group you know some projects maybe some like commercials I don't know you know we'll see what happens I'm not gonna rush into anything thanks Shai you've been great really cool man great performance great movie great editing great Everything. Yeah, thank you.